This is an extremely helpful tool for all of my podcasters out there or for those of you who are working with multiple camera angles for a particular scene. Instead of layering and disabling clips as you go, DaVinci Resolve has this tool that allows you to swap between multiple camera angles with one shortcut. And it is called Multicam, I think. Yep, multicam, it's called multicam. Now, there are a few ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you the way I've learned and works best for me, and it's in the edit page. Now, in essence, the multicam tool operates similarly to creating a compound clip, but instead of compositing all the layers and displaying one final image, the multicam tool will allow you to swap between different layers on the fly. I'm gonna walk through the entire process of setting something like this up. If you're just interested in how to use the multicam tool, I'll leave a timestamp somewhere and you can go ahead and skip to that. But let's get into it. Now today I'm gonna to be working with two video files that will eventually turn into three separate layers. So we'll have three angles for our multicam clip. This is from a recent podcast episode that I did with my good friend Minguez. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check that out. I would highly recommend it. He's a fantastic host. But um, you'll see we have his recording right here and then myself right here. And as long as both video files have audio attached to them, you can automatically sync these two up in DaVinci. You'll notice that each video file has two layers of audio. One is my voice, the second is Mark or Mingus's voice. And what I'm gonna do is drag my video file up to its own layer. I'm gonna highlight the both of them, right click, go to auto align clips, and then you're gonna want based on waveform. And what this will do is it'll look at the waveforms of each video file and sync them up automatically. Depending on how big your recording is, this could take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead to when these are already aligned. And would you look at that? We got everything synced up all nice and pretty. Now you could keep every layer of audio if you wanted, but I don't have a need for duplicates of each. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these bottom two by holding the Alt key and then selecting and then hitting backspace. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim up each of these so that they're around the same length. Perfect. Now I'm actually gonna create a third layer real quick and I'm gonna skip ahead, but I'm just gonna make a side-by-side -side view with each of us in frame. All right, so now we have three angles. We have the side-by-side -side view, we have Mark's angle, and then we have my angle. Now conventionally what you would need to do if you wanted to bounce back and forth between these different angles is you would go make your cut, disable the top layer, and then you could display whatever's underneath it. This can be kind of time consuming and it can get a little bit cumbersome when you're working with more than just three layers. So say you had five angles or you're working with a music video and you're not exactly sure which part to use from the shot or the location that you filmed it from. And this is where the multicam tool really comes in handy. So what I'm gonna do is this. I have everything set up the way I'd like. I'm gonna go over to my media pool in the top left find the timeline that I'm working with, right click on it and hit convert timeline to multicam clip. And you'll notice that our timeline disappeared, but now in our media pool, we have this, we have this timeline multicam file. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this real quick so that there's not any confusion. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this down and create a new timeline with it. And at first glance, you're thinking this is another compound clip, but check this out. Now, if I right click on this and I go to switch multicam clip angle, I can swap between the different angles that we've set up. So again, right click, switch multicam clip angle, video three, and we have our split video file. What I found that works well for me when it comes to the audio here is if I hold down the alt key, drag this guy down so that I duplicated my first audio layer. What I'll do is I'll just switch the second one to the audio to file. So that way I just have both those recordings there and I don't have to worry about swapping between those. Now that I have my two audio layers set up, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to unlink video track one and audio track one because what can happen is if I bounce back and forth between these different angles, you'll notice that it swaps back and forth between the different audio tracks as well and I don't necessarily want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlink these. And as you just saw, you can swap back and forth between those angles with one shortcut. The key that we're gonna use here is the Alt button plus whatever number video track you wanna use. So Alt plus one goes to the first layer, Alt plus two, second, Alt plus three, third. Pretty cool. So now I can quickly scrub through and edit 
this podcast episode without ever taking my hand off of the keyboard. And before you go ahead and click off the video and start doing this yourself, let me show you two things really quick that'll really sell you on the multicam tool. One, you can right click on one of your multicam files and hit open in timeline. And you can then edit your multicam video and audio files just like you would a compound clip. So for instance, what if I wanted to add a fourth angle where it's a zoomed in version of the both of us. If I swap back to our main timeline and now I hit Alt 4, you'll see that we now have that fourth angle, which is incredibly useful and powerful. So again, say for instance, you wanted to add a fifth angle and you wanted to make this one black and white for dramatic effect. Again, you can do that, go back to your timeline, hit Alt 5, and now you have that fifth angle. But wait, there is more. And this one really might change your editing workflow. If I minimize my inspector page and minimize my media pool, you'll notice that I now have this option to go to a dual view mode. I'm gonna click that. Right now there's nothing displayed, but if I go to this drop-down menu and hit multicam, you'll see that we have all of our angles now set up here on the top left. And if I start playing this video and I hover over one of these cams and click whatever one I want to swap to, you'll see that it now swaps to that cam that I clicked on. So what you could do is start playing the video and when you feel like there needs to be a cut, cut there. Okay, let's go back to the zoom and in view. Let's go back to me. Let's go back to Minguez. And instead of disabling and enabling clips on multiple tracks, you've now made five different camera changes within the span of five seconds. The one thing I do want to point out real quick while I was doing that, I made sure I had only the video option selected. If you have video and audio, sometimes swapping back and forth between the two can get a little bit funky. So like I mentioned before, there are a lot of ways to use this tool, including using it on the cut page. But this is the method that works well for me and the one I've had the most success with. So give it a shot and let me know if it's useful. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.